Hello guys, today we will have a look at this. This is Foxnail Avatar Goggles X with extension board and PDB receiver module installed. This is PDB 5.8 GHz analog receiver module which I installed into uh, extension board. It looks a little bit odd and we will go through the assembly video today, but it, it, let me just put it on. Am I look funny? If you agree that I'm looking like a crazy professor from some movie, just like and subscribe. If not, also subscribe and like and let's jump to the video. What we have here today is actually Google's X and Cadex extension board for Google's X, which I got for free from Cadex. You can get it for free up until end of March 2025. If you still don't have one, but you have Google's, hurry up and claim your free extension board. So this one can be used for head tracking and it also can be used for analog receiver. And that's the goal for today to see how analog receiver fits uh, our Google's X. So first thing we will do is we will uh, glue the extension board to the goggles and be accurate here. So I'll put some glue. I used some wipes uh, before to uh, remove some fat and everything from. Uh, do it again. Okay, so uh, we have our extension board. It should face front of the Googles, so we can accurately put it like this, maybe. It looks nice. Uh, not for now, at least. Okay, so we uh, pretty much put our extension board it's something like alien tape tape or i don't know but anyway so once we have our tape we can fit our receiver and for receiver we have pdb 5.8 gigahertz uh, analog receiver and it fits into extension board like this then we can we can remove antenna cups we have sandwich antenna, which comes with uh, SPDB. So let's put it in here. We also have a lollipop antenna, but the problem with lollipop antenna, which is um, which comes with SPDB, is that that module is kind of designed to be oriented vertically like this, and this antenna should stick like this, right? So, but for Cadex, its uh, orientation is different. So, this antenna is pretty much. It's a bit useless, I would say. So I picked just some uh, right hand oriented antenna, which I had in stock. Just another lollipop just to replace this one. This one will probably go to my stocks for antennas. Okay, so now we have antennas installed. Uh, we have module installed all seems to be good and now we need to do wiring and that's where actually things becoming quite ugly so we have a bunch of bunch of wires which we need to plug in so we will start with this one it has uh, four sections on one end and five sections on another end so five sections are going to the goggles and four sections are going to the module. Another one is a power cable, which is long part is going in here, and short part is going into the goggles, and then battery connector is coming here. That's because I have some old battery, which is which I'm not flying, just using it for goggles. 
Okay, so uh, now what we can do, uh, now we can, so it looks, to me it looks a bit ugly and actually the receiver is not holding really well in that extension board, so I don't know uh, if I want to keep it here, so not the, well, if you keep your hand horizontal all the time, that's fine, but it's you can see it's like not ideal. Anyway, that's what we have. Uh, Cadex, you can do better, to be honest. And what's next? We can just plug in the battery. My uh, drone is on raised band 8 and uh, SPDB is already set up to raised band 8 but you can pretty much uh, easily switch it within the joystick like that's you see different raised bands you can also go to other channels for me it's a raised band 8 and uh, for the drone, that's my Crux 35. I can just turn it on. You see, we have signal. Uh, it's beeping because I need some. We need, I need some. We have telemetry connected, and I'll try to use different camera to show what's happening inside the goggles. Try to make it I'll try to record a video now to show what's happening actually inside the Googles. Okay, I'm doing some recording, so to get into analog receiver module, you need to press menu button for 5 seconds. Here we go, you see we are now... seeing our picture. And what happens here is that on the top of, in the left top corner of the goggles, you can see indicators showing like signal strengths from uh, both antennas, uh, left and right, so you can see which antenna is better and which is not. And the only thing here is that you will not get your DVR working, so there is no way to get DVR working with um, analog receiver. But overall, if you are happy with uh, just having your receiver on the goggles and having no DVR, that's kind of a way to go solution. I'll try that, uh, just uh, got time to put everything together and maybe I'll share some results later on.